guys so starting off this vlog super super late it's like around seven something already um i did a lot of filming today i had conference calls today going through like different things that are, that are happening with everything and um i have i got like kind of like well yeah i did i got disappointing news but i mean eventually everything will be okay i had a partnership that was supposed to be for this year but now it's not going to be until 2021 but you know what can you do you just have to stay positive and keep going lots of things are changing let me show you what i have on right now i just have like my little fuzzy sweater some leggings and my fanny pack has been coming in clutch because i don't have to touch anything so it's been like so handy and then yeah we have i don't know what to do with this lamp over here you guys in the frame but yeah then here's the picture that we have of glenn's mom we're actually gonna end up sending that to the philippines eventually but we just haven't gotten to it yet i filmed how to apply press-ons hmm. now my hands don't look like caveman hands um we are currently about to pick up dinner not gonna lie i'm pretty happy because good dinner so that's relieving i just don't i just don't feel like it you know I, I really don't i'm just tired and i'm stressed and i dealt with like a lot of crap today but yeah i'm excited so i'm gonna show you where we're gonna go we're actually picking up from our very favorite 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 shabu shabu plot uh, spot and they have to go so i'm really happy also you guys we never officially announced it on this channel but i said it on my disney account and people don't i think people thought that we still stayed in la and we actually moved to orange county so yeah that's where we moved uh when i made the announcement on my disney page i think i confused people and they said wait you moved again and they're like is this the house of the pool like yeah same house obviously because you've been watching the vlogs but uh yeah we're in orange county we moved to orange county and honestly it was like the best move for us um and then when i was like confirming with people and letting them know where we lived everybody's like oh my gosh but well, what about mama whoop whoop we're not far from her at all the drive is not short uh, i mean the drive is not <laughs> the drive is not long at all so um yeah but we moved to orange county we absolutely love it we love our neighborhood everybody is amazing and um that's why you're going to be seeing a lot of orange county restaurants and oc spots and stuff like that um so yeah uh, so this spot that we're going to is called yuzu shabu shabu i have talked about it before it's in cerritos and it is really really good and it's so funny because we're actually craving hot pot and we ended up going to mitsua and picking up uh stuff to make broth and all the veggies and stuff and we love the bone broth from there it's honestly like the best thing you have ever had <laughs> and i didn't like the broth that we made it was a miso broth but for me it just tasted kind of funny because then we combined it with another one to have more flavor and it kind of tasted too fishy and i am not the biggest fish person like i can eat sushi and then i can have mahi mahi and the other fish i could have is like halibut because it's very light but salmon i have to have it like super blackened and a lot of teriyaki sauce which i haven't ate salmon in a while i can have it on certain rolls that glenn will order um, but i wanna i wish i could really enjoy salmon but i'm so picky on it because of the fishy taste but um yeah the broth kind of tasted fishy when we made it and i did like the shabu shabu but then i also did it i started kind of feeling nauseated from it i just didn't want to tell glenn and plus he was enjoying it so yeah but i'm so happy that they're doing to go and we were talking like we just feel so bad for all the businesses and everything going on it's just it's just so crazy hi hey glenn's not feeling too good he said that he f what do you feel you feel weak yeah i think i'm just tired um long day i just i got off work i just barely got off work maybe like three hours or two hours ago and um today was just a long day for me um i'm an essential employee so um yeah i, I gotta go to work um but uh you know it's, i have the long hours and uh i think i'm just tired and then the weather change it's been hot and then now it's gonna go to cold again so uh we're gonna feel a lot of the crazy weather and you know out here in california so uh i don't know what to expect usually that's that's the time when everybody gets like hay fever and and all those other ailments but you know i, I don't think like i i think i'm i'll be all right i just gotta drink some more water and uh you know kind of take take it easy take a load off here's the plaza that yuzu's at and we've been well we haven't been to claws before 
but there's the socket to Misushi. We've been there before. And then there's the Gen over here. And then here's Yuzu. Right here. Oh, so sad. No one's there. We're going to give him a $20 tip. Oh my gosh, it's so sad seeing how empty it is. <gasps> Don't worry, we're not parking handicapped. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like, oh, it's so sad. Even this place is empty, Northern Cafe. Even Jen, there's no one standing outside. This We actually got Jen already before. It was like a $10 plate and it was really good. Glenn finally has a backup camera. Okay, guys. Well, we picked everything up and we saw our friends there because we know, like, <laughs> all the waiters and stuff. So, oh, bye, Nicole. Oh, I feel so bad. But we got the stuff. Well, you can't see anything, but oh, man. There's Jen. And then 85 Degree Bakery. Are they still open? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Cream mystery is open. I saw someone get their ice cream. They just bring it to you on the outside. Whenever we do our hot pot, Glenn busts out the extension cord. This broth is what the amazing, amazingness is. And then it comes with a veggie bowl and then our sauces. I forgot to ask for double goma, but goma, ponzu, and there's a chili sauce, but I don't really care for it. It kind of tastes like a curry chili sauce, but to me it doesn't taste that good with the shabu shabu. And then they gave you the onion, garlic, and chopped green onion, and then you get a ramen, you get an udon. Um, I will say the portions are much smaller than when you eat there, and it was the same price, but what can you do? Two rices. And then our meats right there. And then we actually have washed broccoli, so we have extra broccoli. And we have some carrots in our fridge that we have not ate, so we're gonna add those too. We do have our own goma sauce, so let me show you this. You can get this at the Asian market. We get ours at Mitsua. It's goma shabu right here, and it's by Miskan. Miskan, sorry. Uh, just sesame dipping sauce for shabu shabu. And then you mix this with some of this one. Ooh, the ponzu sauce, so good. And then you add green onion. And then if you have some garlic, gar garlic paste and mix it in, or fresh garlic, which is what I usually do. And these two in combination, bomb. Put more of this, not equal parts. But like two parts this, one part that, so good. And then add green onion and add chopped fresh garlic, so good. So yeah. Yay! And it's actually colder today. It's like 61 degrees. It like dropped out of nowhere. Yesterday, it was so freaking warm, you guys. So I don't even understand what's going on with the weather. It's just, it's craziness. It is straight craziness. And I, oh, I have like, I feel like crazy. Like, I don't know. I've been feeling like weird, just like stressed out and, you know, just all sorts of emotions. So my ass definitely needs this right here, truly so funny how many people are tagging me on instagram so keep tagging me if you guys try it because of me <laughs> and i did try the citrus pack and i didn't like it you guys um someone said try the citrus it's so bomb and unfortunately i didn't really like that pack for some reason it's just like whatever my favorite pack is still the tropical the second pack i recommend are the lemonades and then third i would probably say berry fourth the citrus pack but yeah, I'm still going to drink them, though. They're not, like, terrible where I don't like them. And they're definitely still way better than White Claw. I would pick Citrus Pack over White Claw any day. Sorry. But. All right. We're going to set up. Bon appetit, my sweet. Did you just burp? Yeah. <laughs> no hot pot for you. You guys just got treats. And look at this guy. He waits for me to drop stuff because I always drop stuff. <laughs> Yep, does your bed taste good? <laughs> they just got a treat, so she's like licking crumbs. So you can just add it in green onion, and a corn and a taro, and a broccoli. <laughs> and then garlic. I'm just gonna. Yeah, just put the whole dump thing. Dump it. Dump it. <laughs> and then we have onion. Dump it. So we're watching Paranormal Caught on Camera. Love this show. And Glenn got the side table from our other living room and he put our meat on top. <laughs> so
So now we got our whole entire setup. Oh my gosh. So if you've never done Hot Pot before, you take a piece of meat. It's right here. Oh, I'm watching. <gasps> it's back. Oh my gosh, this episode's really scary. And then you put it into the broth and you can wiggle it around. And since the broth is hot, see it starts cooking right away. And then also this hot pot, one of our good friends, Taka and Craig, they gave this to us for our wedding. And it's probably one of our favorite wedding gifts ever because we use this thing all the time. And you can also use it for a Korean barbecue. So then once the meat is cooked, you just dip it in the goma, you can dip it in some of the ponzu, and then you can grab a little bit of rice if you want. Right here. And then you enjoy. What up tea, my sweet? And there you go. Shabu shabu for the dogs. Carrots. <laughs> what about you want? I already gave one. Oh. There he is. We're watching a story about Bigfoot, you guys. Ghost Adventure Time, our other number one favorite show. Also, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills started, and I don't know if you guys watch it, but I do, and I'm obsessed with it. So obsessed, and I, ugh, I just, I love it so much. It is so good. So I'm so happy that season started again. Okay, so now we're gonna watch Ghost Adventures. Let me know down below what you guys have been watching, what you guys have been binge watching. Also, Netflix, Glenn and I finally binge watched, well, not like binge watched, but we finished Ozark in what? No, kind of, we binged. No, that's considered binging, huh? Yeah, we binged, Never mind, because <laughs> I just realized we finished three seasons. <laughs> We're not really ones to watch a lot of seasons of things, and this one we actually really enjoyed, and it's Ozark. That one was really good, and we're not seasoned people. I just saw my lens and it was so dirty, so hopefully it'll be okay now. It's probably from like me cooking and then filming. Okay guys, decided to come into my beauty room. Um, I'm gonna start removing my makeup. I'm not gonna show you like all the steps because I, I wanna do a get unready with me. So whenever I remove my lashes, I literally just take them off, I don't soak them. Some of the stuff that I love is I've been using my coconut cleansing oil from Kopari. I love this stuff. Um, I was really happy because then BoxyCharm ended up putting the toner in the box and I also use a toner. So now I have a backup of one of my favorites. So I'm really happy. Um, but yeah, I love their cleansing oil. And then my favorite wipe is the Neutrogena. I said, I'm not gonna go through a whole regimen. I'm really not, like I have a lot of skincare that I like to use at nighttime. But I'm gonna be using also the Miracle Water um, 3 in 1 Glow Tonic from It Cosmetics. Love this stuff. Oh, I am almost out. Uh, the Sephora sale is going on, but I don't think I'm gonna purchase anything to be very honest. I'm going to try to do this as carefully as possible because I don't have a sink in here and I don't have water. So I've been trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that when I film this video for my channel. I think I just have to just run to the sink or whatever. I've been trying so many different foundations too because I did a makeup declutter. If you guys haven't seen my beauty channel, it's already up. And I'm excited because I asked you guys on there, if you guys can go comment and go see that video because it just went up today. I'm gonna do a video with Glenn and I think I'm just gonna go rinse this off right now. I'm gonna go do a video with Glenn and it's gonna be either shop my stash, he does my makeup or I do his makeup, but most, mostly everybody's picking for him to shop my stash. So um, I think that's the video we're gonna do first, but go ahead and vote on that video. I'd really appreciate it. It's just my Makeup Declutter 2020. It's my most recent video and then um, you guys can let me know. That got most of it off. Boo. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna use a Neutrogena wipe and just get the rest off. Also, I got like this gnarly pimple underneath. Ugh, it really hurts. It's been so bad, like I can't get rid of this rash, like I can't help, I need to scratch it. It's just, ugh, and I'm making this area look almost scarred and so dark, so I'm getting a little self-conscious on it because even Glenn was like, dude, it looks like a hickey. I was like, stop! <laughs> so I need to just be careful. I almost inhaled that, I was like. Pfft. Okay, so now we're gonna do a mask. I'm gonna use this one from Too Faced. Uh, I've only used it like two other times. I can't really tell you how I feel about it, but what I can tell you is that it is so freaking pretty. Look at that. 
all the glitters. I love this skincare brush set from Sigma. It's really good. This is what it looks like. Look how pretty. It's like straight glitter. It's like a glitter mask. <laughs> how cool, huh? So I don't know about you guys, but have like different events and things been canceled for you because of everything going on. I feel so bad for one of my best friends because her wedding got canceled and I texted her about it like last night because I don't know, I just wanted to hear what she was gonna say because I'm one where, look how cool that is. I'm one where I don't wanna make it worse, you know, because I'm sure she's already thinking about it. So yesterday I finally like talked to her about it, like how are you really feeling and all of that because her wedding was supposed to be May 16th. Okay, so the bat, okay, so her bridal shower was already supposed to be like April 1st and it was me and another bridesmaid that were gonna host it and then the next weekend we we're supposed to be in Miami for four days. Obviously that got canceled. And then her wedding was supposed to be May 16th and then the guys were gonna go to Tennessee for the batch um, on the 28th and they should have been in Tennessee this coming weekend. It's just, it just sucks that everything got canceled, you know, like so many people's special days and all of this and, and it's just such a crazy time, you know? Um, I'm curious, like did anything get canceled on your end with you guys? Uh, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I know like a lot of things that go on every single year, but specifically this year, I feel like a lot got just put on pause because of everything and more than usual, I feel like, uh, but you know, it's, it's just so weird to take in and, and I didn't want to talk about it, but I kind of want to right now because all of this has been happening and I, I just feel terrible for anybody who had like, um, just anything canceled period. And I feel bad for, and also I, I want to be sensitive to everything that's going on. Like I definitely feel for the people who have lost their jobs. Um, people who are struggling to pay for groceries and all that. Like, um, I want to bring it up. But I didn't want to bring it up. Someone made like a comment saying that we're insensitive showing Glenn's truck. And honestly, I didn't think that was going to happen, but I want to thank you guys for like defending us because you guys already know how we are. Like we are the last couple to honestly show off anything. And and if you really follow us, then you guys already know that. And I get it, people get in their feelings or they're sensitive or feeling some type of way. And I get it, sometimes we just kind of project that online. And I just, you know, told them, like, we're not insensitive, like, we understand what's happening, but Glenn's been already, like, prepping to try to get this truck for a long time already before, and there's so many factors behind his whole entire car purchase where it was, like, I didn't feel like we had to bring such a happy moment and get all technical and into it, but, um, yeah, he's been saving for this truck for a while. He's He hasn't had a brand new car, like, a brand new car, um, so this is his first brand new truck, um, yeah, and his first truck actually got set on fire uh, from an arsonist, which is crazy. And I have pictures and all that. I can go into a story time. And that wasn't fun. And that exploded and literally exploded like in front of his aunt's house. And like it was a whole thing. And then he finally got his dream car, the Dodge, um, you know, the Challenger. But it wasn't brand new. And it was now it's 10 years old. So he definitely didn't buy it brand new, you guys. He planned to get this truck because he did miss his truck. And also his challenger there's like things happening to it like l the engine light like, going on this happening just like things like left and right like kind of towards the end like I felt like something was happening every single month and I'm like uh probably not a good investment in the car anymore like it's had its time you know he had it and he had it for I believe five years and now it's like time you know because now more things were happening and he needs something more reliable he had really bad memories because of his mom sitting in in you know the passenger seat and just everything happening and he was saying just thinking of all those times of rushing her to the emergency all those times where she was like almost dying in his car it's just not good memories at the same time so it was like so many factors and that's why he switched his car and it's already been like he's been wanting a truck it's just that so much was happening that was like the last thing he could really concentrate on when he was so busy with work so busy with his mom and just all over the place so yeah um, so I just wanted to explain that, but I want to say thank you to everybody who kind of like, you know, defended us and I appreciate it. They ended up deleting their comment, you know, and, and no one's ever perfect. And, and, and I just want to let you know, like, trust me, we're well aware of everything. We are very, says you guys should already know I'm such a crybaby with everything. I've already cried about so many things regarding all this, but I just don't want to put that on my channel because people are already like, you know, I, their stress is definitely higher 
anxiety is definitely up there. Sleep schedules are definitely getting weird. Mine has been very weird. I've been feeling, now it's starting to kind of hit me and I just want to be very honest. Like I said, I don't want to be like sad on my channel, but I just have to be honest. It's starting to really hit me. Um, just starting last week. Uh, sleep's kind of off, getting super, super anxious. That's why I ripped all my nails and I was so like nervous and just think because you don't know what to expect, what to think, what to know. My main thing is I just want to make sure my mom's okay. I want her to be safe. Um, I miss her dearly. It's very weird not being able to spend time with her. You guys already know she's my best friend. Um, I've been FaceTiming with her a lot. So it's been like really emotional because whenever we say bye, we're always like this, like on the verge of like tears. I don't want to tear right now. I don't want to cry. And then, I, and even today she started crying. She's like, okay, bye. I was like, no, I said, no cry. No, no. And she's like, I have something in my eye. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, it's just been like really difficult, you know, and all we can do is just honestly just stay positive. Um, things have changed for so many different people. Trust me, when all this happened, I ended up going to Trader Joe's probably like a day or no, like, no, 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 probably like two or three days before everybody ran to the grocery stores, like really ran and started hoarding everything. And I had a whole entire Trader Joe's haul that I have on my computer. It's still there and I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to upload it way later. I'm thinking maybe in like a couple weeks because I went to Trader Joe's the other day and honestly, it's very organized. Things are in stock. It's not like crazy like other grocery stores where things are still missing. I think Trader Joe's was probably my best experience shopping. Uh, but yeah, I didn't post up the video because I was like, oh, I was going to post it and then everything happened and then I started seeing all these things pop up, people hoarding, uh, videos of people crying, saying they can't get things or a kid. I'm like, whoa, yeah, definitely not posting that video up. Like, that would be such an a-hole move. And you guys already know, like, I would never do anything like that to you guys on purpose or show off or make anybody feel, you know, um, like crap. Like, that is not my intention on this channel. And I know you guys know. And, I, and I'm not even, like, mad at that person because this is all new for everybody. We're all taking this in so many different ways. Everybody's life is changing one way or another. And yeah, that's all I can really say. Um, I, I hope all of this is honestly over sooner than later. I'm hoping more people, and I know more people are taking this more seriously too. I found some really good quotes the other day and I posted them on my Instagram and someone said, thank you so much for posting, the, posting them. Um, oh, okay, right here, here's a good one. Everything in life is temporary. If things are going good, enjoy it because it won't last forever. If things are going bad, don't worry because it can't last forever either. Always hold on to all those good memories and things that really count in life and just any positivity and any happiness. And then if you're having any bad times right now, like it's going to be eventually over. Another one that I found was even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. I loved that one. That was probably my favorite. And let's see. What feels like the end is often the beginning. And it's so funny, I don't think, I don't know if I posted this, but I saw my friend Jasmine post this and I was like, did I post this one? I don't remember, but it was so funny because I didn't think I did, but I think maybe she posted it. So I was like, oh dang, great, think, great, great minds think alike. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, now you can really see the glitter. <laughs> And then this one, I don't know how my story will end, but nowhere in my text will I ever read, I gave up. Um, that's when I didn't post, that was one just like for myself. Stress people out, but at the same time, I wanna give you guys some light as well. Um, and all of that, I hope you guys are safe. And I hope, you, and the main thing is that we're all still alive and we have the gift of breathing. Um, what else? I just ordered something from Amazon and I don't know how Glenn will react, but I ended up getting a puzzle that I've been wanting and it's a hula mini and hula mickey in hawaii and it's super cute um i can't wait to get it it's only 750 pieces so i don't think it'll be too tedious so and i'm hoping my puzzle comes with all the pieces because there's a couple reviews saying missing some pieces when we got to the end and i honestly will be so sad if there's some missing pieces so i'm hoping there's not i'm really hoping there's not but but yeah let me know what you guys have been doing like what kind of activities have you guys been cleaning <laughs> cleaning have you guys been cleaning have you guys been organizing what have you guys been doing learning a new um i don't know hobby uh playing a new instrument taking back up your old hobby i would love to know i'm just gonna go hang out on the bed and just relax a little bit and yeah i might do some essential oils they've actually been really helping me so and then i've been using i keep talking about them but i really like them 
the Derma E uh, Skin Beneficial Mist, the Mood Enhancing. I've been using the Calm one, and then this is the Create at my desk. I, I don't know. I kind of like the Create one, and then, but my favorite is Uplift. This one has uh, citrus waters in it, so that's the one I've been using a lot. Okay, time to relax. I'm going to go ahead and, look, it's already starting to peel around my mouth. I'm going to go ahead and just chill out for a bit. I think we all just deserve some little me time, and I'll come back. Wait, I don't know if I said it, but Glenn and I will be trying to not necessarily daily vlog, but almost daily vlog. I want to vlog as much as I can. I just don't want to bore you guys. I figured, hey, let's vlog as much as we can. Okay, now I'm going to go chill out on the bed for a little. I think it's almost been about 30 minutes. I'm just going to start taking this off because I am tired and ready for bed. I'm going to bring it up and just start taking it off. I don't care if it's like in one piece or not. All the glitter. And honestly, I don't even know if I... Oh, my face actually feels good. I have like some mascara right there. Take this off. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's vlog because honestly, I'm very, very sleepy right now. I just want to like relax and get a better sleep schedule because like I said, it's been like a little bit difficult for me to sleep. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys are excited for tomorrow vlogs and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.